Hey everybody, welcome back to the 1RC YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little review of these Trencher 3.8s on Project Snail Mail. Uh, this is a bone stock Traxxas Summit. Um, it does have red push rods, but I just put those on because I like the color. <laughs> but uh, on the Raid 8x32 wheels, um, they do have wide offset hexes. My goal with this project is to not necessarily make a another crawler because i have things that you know i have an scx10 i have a gen 8 i've got a super clawed i don't need another crawler but i want to make a go anywhere do anything basher and for that the stock tires the stock canyon at tires while they're tall and soft and good at crawling they really lack when it comes to surfaces like this. Um, I've got the the truck currently on two Ovonic. Oh, sorry about the wind there, guys. <laughs> um, I've got the truck on uh, four cell Ovonic power today. That's two two S five thousand packs. Um, I think they're fifty Cs. But I mean, you can see the the truck. It's it's not a speed demon, but I mean, it's fairly quick for what it is. Ton of suspension travel, and this is this is in second gear. I can click it down into first, and well, <laughs> that's embarrassing. Um, click it down into first and get over small obstacles. <laughs> but you know, again, it's it's not a crawler. But what it is is something that when I get it stuck like that. I can lock the diffs, crawl right over it, and when I get through to the other side, it's back to second gear. Um, this truck does need a lot of room. <laughs> you see, it's it's pretty good on gravel. I, I really like how how these trenchers float over terrain instead of how do I put it? Um, instead of digging in and, and creating a lot of, of uh, traction rolling issues, um, for loose for loose gravel like that, you know these are way better than stock, and uh, you know they're doing quite well, doing quite well on the grass here. They're not getting bogged down at all. Um, looks like our volleyball court here is mostly, <laughs> uh, it's not as sandy as I'd like, but hey, it's still, and you can see how well the, the trenchers are doing. I mean, the truck launches, takes off, no problem. And corners quite well. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's one thing that I'm really, uh, I'm noticing is how good the Jeep Gladiator body from Proline rolls back onto its tires. Um, this is the larger of the two. You've, you may have seen that I also run the smaller body on Express Mail, our uh, granite voltage project. And let's see here. And on that one, I'd, I haven't really had any rolling issues to, to note. Um, you know, this truck jumps and lands like a wet sponge. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how much suspension travel the Summit has. Um, now, driving a stock Summit... Eh, not quite. Not quite enough power for that, but honestly, a brushless system would shred these diffs. So <laughs> we're going to keep it stock with the uh, 775 power for now. Um, see how these tires do. I mean, obviously, you're not going to speed run a Summit, but... More power 
uh, more power, good God. More traction than the Summit will ever need on road. <laughs> um, but this is, this is the first step in turning the Summit uh, Project Snail Mail into an ultimate go anywhere, do anything basher. Um, stock electronics, everything still as waterproof as the day tracks has made it. But these um, longtime readers of my work on the site know that I don't, I didn't find the Trencher SCs to be the best tire for two-wheel drive short course. Um, we tested them against several other Proline tires and some stock um, BF Goodrich tires from Traxxas. And I found them to be not as good in two-wheel drive as stock. For four-wheel drive, I do like them. Don't get me wrong, they're a great tire for four-wheel drive. So again, four-wheel drive monster truck, this, you know, they're working out quite well. Um, you've seen it traction rolling corners a few times. Had, had the truck been lower and not had a mile of suspension travel, it wouldn't do that. <laughs> But on this dry dirt, I mean, I've got all the traction I can ask for. And I'm sure that I'm sure that they would do the same in mud. It's just it's so hot and dry that, you know, there's no mud within three states right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the only negative that I can see and it's really not a negative because at this power you can see that I mean it's not an issue but if if you were to put more power through the plastic hexes there may be some issues with the 8x32 plastic hexes stripping um, maybe breaking a screw out or something of that nature if there's you know I can always upgrade to the optional aluminum hexes from Proline that's you know that's an option and it's really not even an that big of a deal a, a negative at this point anyway you know we're not breaking wheel hexes with a a summit so um the size is is great for a truck like this they're not too tall they're not too short um the width is nice um seeing them float over the gravel that was in the uh, playground over there the stock tires wouldn't have done that. They would have folded over and there would have been some protests. So nothing but good things to say about these tires on this truck on this day. Um, I want to send a, a huge thank you to Proline for sending these out for the review. Um, as always, the best tires in the business, in my opinion. I've... I've ran Proline tire. Actually, the first upgrade I ever got from my Rustler was a set of Proline bow ties. And that was in 97, 1997 or so. <laughs> so I do believe in the product um, and they, they make a great product. So, um, but we do thank you for watching today. Uh, it's over 100 degrees out, so I'm going to cut this a little short. Um, in summation, great tire, great truck, great time. Uh, I'm, really, I'm really enjoying this. If uh, you have any questions or anything you'd like to see on the channel, please just drop a comment below. Definitely let us know. Um, you know we're, here to, we're here to help you. That's, that's, uh, that's our main goal. So... We thank you again for watching. If you're not subscribed already, uh, please do so. Click the bell, be notified of future videos. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.